Welcome to On The Beat everyone, I'm Troy Thompson. I'm in the studio today with Patrick Wooten from Richard Schwartz and Associate Injury Lawyers. And today we're talking all about the things that you need to be worried about this winter. Welcome to the show, my friend. So good to see you. Nice Happy New Year. Nice to see you again. Happy New Year to you <laughs> as well. You. Listen, in 2021, Mississippi suffered a major issue yes. when it comes to the winter issues. Absolutely. What do you say to everyone this winter? You know, preparation is the key. Yeah. You have to be prepared. Um, you know, winter weather, we're not really prepared for it down here. You know, we don't have salt trucks and snow plows and all the like. So the roads get really dangerous really quickly. So be prepared when it comes to winter weather and listen to the wonderful weather team here at WCBI. I think that's the most <laughs> important thing is being aware. That's right. I remember when I first moved to America and I moved to Utah mm -hmm. and I had never driven in snow yep. or icy roads. It was the most frightening experience. For someone who doesn't understand how to actually drive in severe weather or icy roads, what do you say to those people? Yeah, absolutely. Can we go out and get specialized driving lessons or I don't know? I mean, that's the thing. In the South, we don't have that where yeah. you do in the North, you know. But there are some simple rules to make sure if you do have to get out. The key is don't. If you can, stay home. You know, don't get out in the terrible weather. But if you have to, you got to make sure the air pressure's right. That has a huge impact on your car when it comes to operating on snow and ice. And, of course, you know, if someone's in a wreck because of snow or ice, there becomes the issue, is that an act of God or not an act of God? Well, that's you, something I want to touch on, if you wouldn't yeah. mind. If you do have an accident on the roads here, let's just say you're going around a corner and mm -hmm. you slip on some black ice. Yep. Do we call it black ice here in America? You, you, yes, sir. Okay, <laughs> so you slip on the black ice. Is that your fault when it comes to injury compensation? It is. So if you lose control of your vehicle what, due to ice or snow, that is still going to be your responsibility if you hit another vehicle or even have a passenger in your own vehicle and they get injured. So you've got to be aware of the driving conditions because you are the pilot of that vehicle and are in charge of where it goes and how it goes. And is this, does the court case similar to what it would look like if you were in an actual accident on everyday Day, like a nice summery day as an example is it the same process because being a slippery mm -hmm. road it's an act of God right you know people think that you see what but I'm I see what you're saying but that is not a defense it's, just, it's tough not, luck it's tough luck so <laughs> whether it's a dry road an icy road a wet road you are still responsible for your your car SUV motorcycle you know in the direction it travels. What do you say to people out there who do have an accident? How soon should they be contacting someone like you? You know, the key is you want to contact us immediately. You know, insurance companies spend a lot of money and will now reach out proactively to someone who's been in a wreck trying to get them to sign a release and, and waive, you know, certain rights they have. So it's right. really important That's that you hire an injury law firm immediately. Immediately. Why is winter storms so different here in the South compared to the rest of the country? The biggest thing, we're not used to it. It's right. so new, we're just not used to driving on snow or ice, so we're just not prepared and haven't grown up learning how to, you know, operate a car in that type of conditions. And, so and it people, really is a skill. It is because, a skill. Because, you know, I was slipping and sliding all over the place, and I'd get to the studio and I'd be grey <laughs> from the fear of clenching them. Mm -hmm. It's really quite scary, so if you don't have those skills, Go out and see if you can get some. Have a few lessons somewhere or, yep. you know, I'm not quite sure where yeah. one would do that. But we really appreciate you coming in again. Thank so you so much. So good to see you. Always great information. If you want to find out more information about Richard Schwartz and Associates Injury Lawyers, I've been chatting to Patrick Wooten about how you need to deal with your winter regulations down here in the south when it comes to personal injuries. Back after this short break.